Hey everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's come take a look and see what's in the fridge today. No, it's that way. Oh! Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Review today. Today's beer is a local beer here they make in Roanoke, Virginia. This is from Roanoke Railhouse. This is their Loose Caboose. This is their Imperial Lager. And there's several different descriptions. Uh, yeah, I've also heard of it as an Imperial Pilsner slash Strong Pale Lager. The reason, uh, the reason they say that because it's a little on the higher ABV. It's 7.76 ABV on this beer. Uh, it's brewed out of Roanoke Rail House, like I said, out of Roanoke, Virginia. The style listed here is Euro Strong Lager, so I mean, there's just so many different descriptions for this type of beer. The food pairings and cuisine would be barbecue, the curry, the Indian, the Latin American, uh, Chinese. Uh, the cheeses would be sharp, blue, cheddar, and the meat for this is shellfish and game. Glassware today, they said you could use the flute, the pills in the glass, the focal, I'm going to use the dinkle like a glass. Uh, says this beer can be cellared for extended periods with the 7.70 ABV, so year-round serving. So if you can get this beer, you can give it all year long. So let's get the cap off. It's a big bottle. It's a 22 ounce. Uh, we got a run nice label. Roanoke uh, is a big railroad town here, so uh, all, uh, all their beers, uh, Track 1, Loose Caboose, uh, are railroad orientated. So. Let's get it in the glass and see what we got. I'm not going to get all this in the glass, but we'll... Yeah, I'll pour a little more in there. Alright. That pour is a... Uh, it is a bronze colored. It's a little bit... Uh, it's, not, it's not quite to the amber color, but it's, uh, it's almost there. A lot of carbonation in that bottle. A lot of bubbles uh, streaming up uh, from the bottom there. I mean, it's just going crazy in there. About a finger of head, maybe a little bit less. Uh, good looking head. I mean, nice and creamy looking. Let's get a nose on it. See what we got. A lot of malt. A lot of malt in this one. Very big malt backbone. And I am getting some hops in there too. It's nothing like an IPA is going to be, but it's a, it's a noticeably hoppy for a lager. I have had this beer, not in the bottle, but I've had it at uh, several of the festivals here uh, that I either volunteer at or, or go to. Uh, this is their newest release. Uh, they've had the track one out for you know for a year or two or three years. And I'm not exactly sure how long they've been producing it. It's been around a while though, and uh, this is their newest release. Uh, Give it a taste, see what we got here. Smells good. Smells real good. Cheers, everybody. A lot of malt there. Biscuity, bready. Pleasant. Very nice. If you like a, a stronger lager, you probably like this. This is a, it's, it's a, it's got a lot of, lot of malt in this. I don't know what the grain bill is on this, but it's got a lot of hot, a lot of uh, malt in here to get to, to get to get that kind of taste. Very nice. I've been, been invited by the owner to go down and take a tour a couple of times. I ran into him at the festivals and stuff, so I need to take uh, Mr. Steve Davidson's uh, offer up and go down and, and, and take the tour. I'm going to do that one weekend. I'll go down and, and do that. Hopefully I'll, he'll let me do some uh, some videos and maybe I'll 
post it on the post it either on this probably be on the other site on my other channel there. So uh, kind of want to keep this one just to the beer, the beer reviews only, and you know the other stuff I use to post on my Mr. Greg Puckett channel. So about me flapping my gums a little bit too much here. Um, I'm gonna sip on this. Just right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Uh, very pleasant beer. You cannot tell it's a seven, almost an eight percent beer. Very easy drinking, which uh, could get you in trouble, especially they only put it in the big bottles like this, either on draft or in the big bottle of 22 ounce bombers. So they don't put it in the 12. So real nice beer, guys. Stick around. I'll be right back. We'll do that final chug. But this is a winner. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Uh, I've been sipping on this for probably 45 minutes now. Uh, Trying to finish it off. That's a big bottle there. So, uh, final chug. That's a very nice beer. It's definitely above average. Uh, Ryan and Steve, uh, y'all do a great job down there at, uh, at the brewery. So, keep up the good work. I enjoy your beers and uh, look forward to seeing you at the next festival that we're at. I think that's coming up. Uh, Sometime this month at Nesselrod uh, in Blacksburg. No, it's in Radford. So, uh, y'all guys, check it out if you're in the vicinity. It's going to be a nice, uh, nice uh, beer festival. So, uh, that being said, that's a wonderful beer. Nice, strong malt backbone on that one. You do get the hot presence, and it is a little on the stronger side at almost 8%, 7.76. So, uh, it's a decent beer. So, that being said, guys, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a solid. Solid 7, that's a B plus in, in my book. I'm not a big lager fan, but it is a decent lager, and it'll get you there faster. So, guys, give it a try. Rate Beer doesn't have any information on it because it hadn't been out very long. There's not enough reviews to, to give a percentage on it, and uh, uh, Beer Advocate has it as a B plus, so that's what I give it, and I'm going to stick with that. So, if y'all have had it, guys, give me some comments back on this one. Let me know if you like it, didn't like it, hadn't had it. If you've seen it, pick it up, give it a try. And guys, come on back tomorrow. We're going to do another one. See you then.